Hey, John Pink here from Doom HQ. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few methods of uh, creating breakable glass. As you can see, I already have my map uh, created, and I'll just walk you through uh, the hows of going about doing it. Um, basically, you connect, make your window, and uh, you'll set the mid texture to a glass texture if you want. Uh, I use uh, Sean 2 and then change its alpha opacity to um, 0.4 which gives it a nice little translucent sort of look. Um, then we set the action which is uh, execute script. Uh, in this case it's going to be script 3. Uh, the map number is not important. And the script takes uh, a few parameters. Uh, what's going to happen here is the first one is the line depth. Uh, if uh, so it's that. Um, another one, if you use breakable mirrors, or you're going to make breakable mirrors, I add a second bit of uh, argument, which is, will be used to unset the mirror special, so it'll stop reflecting once it's broken. And uh, the third argument is referencing the uh, map spot that's going to be uh, spawning the glass shards and playing the sound. So you'll set all of that into uh, on projectile uh, for its action. And uh, the rest of the stuff is pretty much just to build off that. Um, the tubes are breakable glass uh, by switches. Each of these are a mirror. Um, and we'll show you this, how the script works. Um, so, like I said, it takes the three arguments: um, the wall or the front area that you're, uh, the wall that you're shooting to uh, trigger. If you're using a mirror, the line ID for that mirror lined up. And uh, the last, the TID is the spawn and map spot. Uh, it's it's tag ID, so it knows which one it is. So basically, when it runs, it'll unset all the specials from the line depths that uh, are triggering it, and set line blocking to off so you can pass it. Um, at that, we'll also play the glass uh, shattering sound, and then generate um, some random debris, some random shards. Um, you use Thin Projectile 2 in this case because it allows you to assign a, TID, a TID to this event. Um, and then you can use that with a set actor property to allow for damage. Uh, I set it to 1 because uh, the shards that are spawned are large in numbers, so it would be possible to lose a significant amount of uh, life or hit points, health, if uh, you got hit by a dozen of these things each causing damage. Um, down here basically what we're doing is after it's shot it's gonna keep it's gonna cycle through textures on that wall. So in this case there's several textures that are look like broken glass and then at the end it'll unset it. Unset the uh, texture in the middle. So it's, I mean, it's a pretty uh, straightforward uh, mechanic and I'll show you it looks like uh, this. So you can pretty much just go up to any of them. and then show you the damage, so yeah. Uh, the benefit to that is also that the imp can take their damage as well. So they can get hurt by the shards and all that, again, just like you can. Okay, to actually carry off the effect, um, you'll have to import some of the textures and uh, the glass shards into your wad. I'll be uh, including a breakable glass demo wad that will contain all the resources you need to add to uh, your wad to make the breaking glass effect work. Um, if you have any questions or uh, requests, leave them in the, the comment section below or send me a private message and I'll get back to you on that. Until next time.